Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of BTA Bite Size. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the uh, Pew Pew section of the uh, BTA weapon systems and just to forewarn you these are probably going to be broken down into multiple chunk videos. Again um, there's a lot of uh, lot of um sort of like different laser weapon systems to go through uh lasers in and of themselves obviously pinpoint weapons for the most part um there is a cut i think there's like a couple of small exceptions um for me these are um very good systems to have especially early on they give a good balance of weight to damage um so like in the case of the medium lasers like 20 damage for one ton is very good however you know the slight trade-off obviously is uh, is you've got to worry about your sort of heat uh early on you can't boat too many so it's not too much of an issue but as your builds get more complex and you get more sort of uh, a lot more heat involved throwing lasers into the mix can make a bit of a difference to your heat output uh however though uh, they a lot of them uh, carry an inherent plus one accuracy bonus um uh, some also have like a pip evasion bonus as well, so they will ignore like two, three, four, um, whatever uh, pips of evasion. Uh, some also have sort of crit chance increases as well. Um, so basically, you know, the, there will be a higher chance of you landing a critical hit with those. Uh, and some of these weapon systems have two or more of these sort of buffs that go with them. Um, and like for me, this makes this that you know the the uh, the majority of the laser weapon systems as a whole sort of pretty much an invaluable in all your builds. Uh, little top tip: always try and keep your lasers in the arms if possible. Again, like for the most part, a lot of um, a lot of the weapon systems, I would say default, try and keep them in the arms. Obviously, I appreciate that's not possible, but especially early on, if you've got systems you can mount in the arms, max out the armor on the arms. Um, and put the weapon systems in there because you will get obviously get the bonus accuracy for having the sort of uh, lower shoulder actuators etc and, and all of that in there um, oh and uh, again uh, as with most of the a lot of these videos so far the uh, the support weapon slot is going to actually be the video is going to be probably quite short uh, because I'll be covering obviously the support lasers that come in the support section in with this because obviously they're lasers so anyway uh, without further ado, we're going to uh, jump straight into the first ones. Okay, so starting off the standard laser category, um, we've got the small laser. This will be found in the support slot section, uh, all the way down the bottom, obviously, because they're alphabetical. So what we have here is a half ton damage system that takes up one slot, does 15 damage for five heat and fires out to a range of 120 meters, uh, has a bonus, uh, one accuracy and also ignores three pips of evasion uh, not a lot to say about this one really it's a cracking little system again it's one of them ones that uh, would be well suited for a light mech skirmishers uh, adding a little of extra firepower to your melee bot if you have a load of support slots you're not using uh, just a general good all-round sort of tonnage filler as well if you've got like a say a support slots you're not really using and you've got like half a ton of weight you want to use up uh, then it's something that can fit in. Likewise, can also be used for stuff like if you're running like a mostly LRM build uh, on a mech, um, but you kind of want them to be able to defend themselves up close just in case, uh, then it's something you can chuck in that doesn't really require that much heat, but you've at least got some close range damage output that you can throw on it. We have the medium lasers. These come in two flavors. We have the medium and the medium minus. Uh, the mediums are the best value uh, and the best balance of uh, weight versus damage. Uh, they come in at a mere one ton, but they do a 20 damage uh, and only produce 10 heat, which actually isn't too bad. Uh, these things are pretty much awesome for the whole game. Um, you can sort of squeeze, you know, a little bit of extra firepower here and there if you're obviously providing you've got the uh, the weight and the heat. Uh, heat probably more so than the weight especially on the later builds um, they have a decent range out to sort of 360 meters and if you can boat of uh, like a few of these um, you know for example I've got like um, on my sort of like redone twitch playthrough I've got a raptor uh, that's sort of filled with sort of VR small uh, with uh, small lasers and has four medium lasers so that gives you it like a nice 80 base damage sort of ranged output obviously they come with a plus one accuracy bonus as well. Uh, the medium laser minus, obviously, the same thing, but ever so slightly worse. So it's um, more, slightly more heat, uh, an extra two points, slightly less range um, at uh, 330 meters, 
and has a minus one accuracy as well. So all in all, don't use them unless you absolutely have to. Like you've lost, you know, you've only got the medium lasers you've got on your mech and like, you know, the mech's gone bang and you've lost an arm and you've literally got nothing else to replace it with, then sure, take it. Uh, but the uh, as soon as the uh, as soon as you get the option, like ditch them out for the regular mediums. Um, you know, it's like the whole point is pinpoint. And when you have minus one accuracy, especially early on, that's not really going to help. And next up, we have the large lasers. Now, these will come in uh, three flavors. You have the large laser, the large laser minus, and the improved, not the improved binary laser, the improved large laser, that one. Um, so these are essentially exactly the same as the medium lasers, only bigger. You know, duh, clues in the title. Um, now, you can look at these weapon systems in uh, sort of two ways. You can look at the uh, 40 damage to the 5 ton weight um, and 18 heat and say, well, two medium lasers will do the same amount of damage and only take up two tons and only do like two points more damage, uh, too much uh, more heat. Uh, but you can fit like three extra heat sinks in with the weight. Or you can fit, uh, or you can sort of, sort of look at it and go, well, that's 40 damage um, uh, with only 18 heat, but fires out to a range of 600 meters, uh, which is nigh on not far off double uh, what a medium laser can do. Um, so, yeah, take my money. So, it's uh, as with all things in the BTA, uh, it's all about the trade offs. And if you have, uh, uh, you need to weigh up whether you uh, sort of like want the sort of range. Or you want the sort of like uh, you know the sort of like the burst capability of um, something like obviously boating a load of medium lasers. Um, so they're solid we solid weapons though. It's definitely worth keeping a few around. Um, you know, for example, sort of like when you get later on the game, you get things like marauders and things um, like having like five large lasers on a marauder is not to be sniffed at. Um, that's a lot of damage, and it's a lot of pinpoint damage in one go, obviously, um, at, a, a, at a nice respectable range as well. So good for sniper builds and stuff, and just generally adding a little bit of long-range support in there. Uh, the large laser minus, obviously, again, the same with the medium lasers. It is essentially exactly the same, only it produces a sig actually quite a significant uh, amount of heat more at 27 versus the 18 on that. So it's nearly sort of less like nine points of uh, extra heat you've got to deal with. And the range is knocked back a big chunk as well, um, down to only 510. And obviously, you only have the minus one accuracy. So same as the mediums, if you absolutely positively have to use them, which there will probably come a case where you do yes but failing that just flog the things and, and get the money the um the, like it's one saving point is that it ha only takes up one slot compared to the two of the large laser but honestly that ain't worth the trade-off that you that you're going for it um in that respect you sort of like want to move more into the improved laser now this um is virtually identical again uh, in uh, apart from sort of like two key aspects um the damage is the same the range is the same the heat is the same the only difference is it takes up one ton less and it is only one slot as well so all in all obviously if you can get that one then take that one but they again these aren't um you know these are quite i would say I hesitate to use the words in rare in BTA because it depends on how lucky you are with the drops, but I personally haven't come across many of these. Um, and to be fair, I don't actually come across a lot of the large laser minuses. You tend to find them when you're in the periphery dealing with pirates or sort of like the um, low rate, you know, dealing with low rent sort or of government forces and stuff. Um, so the large laser is by far the most popular, but yeah, uh, improved laser is uh, definitely the way to go. So my conclusion for the um, the 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 we'll call them the basic uh, laser systems, um, hands down, definitely one of the best weapon systems in the game. Except obviously the minus variants. They've got good damage. They've got good weight. The heat output isn't great, but um, you know, obviously, um, as you uh, progress and you get heat exchangers and heat banks and better heat systems and stuff, that kind of sort of that bit sort of drops off uh they say they don't take up a lot of space they don't for the most part take up a lot of weight and also they don't require any ammo when you start factoring in things like a large laser will do a very similar amount of damage to like an ac5 uh whilst taking up i think is it what four tons less or three uh, three tons less i think ac5 is eight tons 
Um, uh, if only I had like all of them here. Um, yeah, so an AC that like you compare a large laser to an AC five when um, the, you know like the AC five is a, uh, only does like five more damage. All right, granted you get the stability and it does you know a, a lot less heat, but you know you haven't got to find ammo to put a space to put the ammo in as well. So by the time you chucked a couple of tons of ammo in, you're up to ten tons. Well, you can fit two large lasers for that and do like nearly double the amount of damage. So it you know there's there's that so i definitely advise keep you know keep a stock of lasers around um because you will find them invaluable and they're probably better for you to use early on than the ballistics because there's you the, it's easier to boat more of them essentially uh so again the more weapons you've got to fire well the more shit you've got to fire at the wall the more likely some of it is going to stick so yeah anyway without further ado on to the ers And first up, we have the ER Micro Laser. This only comes in a clan variant. Um, so it comes in at 0.25 of a ton uh, and one slot. It's a nifty little system to add like that little bit of burst damage um, into, especially like melee builds and stuff, if you've got support slots and things for it. Um, to, uh, 10 damage for 6 heat isn't to be sniffed at. So again, if you can boat a fair few of these, um, you know, you can you can sort of quite drastically ramp up your uh, damage output. Obviously, early game, it's going to be hard to come across these because unless you start in clan space, you're not really going to find them. Um, so yeah, it, these will be more of a later game purely because that's just when you're going to come across them. It's not that I would say you can't use them early game. Absolutely, you should. But unless, say, you are in clan space or you make a beeline straight for it, um, you know, there's going to be, you know, it's going to be at least mid game before you get your hands on these things. Um, 80, uh, 80 meters range isn't great, but again, these are more sort of suited for melee builds. Um, so yeah, so what very well suited for melee and scout, uh, sort of scout builds. Um, they also ignore four pips of evasion as well. They don't get the plus one accuracy like the sort of like the IS sort of standard lasers do. Uh, but the four evasion pips again is not to be sniffed at. However, you do lose um, a fifty percent of your crit chance. Uh, so again, this means that you are fifty percent less likely to land a critical hit than you would be with a standard laser. Um, but to be fair, uh, given the weight and its damage output, um, that's probably a fair trade-off. So again, really awesome little weapon system, especially for sort of uh, light scout mechs and stuff, if you can get them hands on them early on. But again, keep the load around because you're going to find actually if you've got an extra, you've got a support slot you can't use on your melee bot, you know, the ER micro lasers, your boy. Okay, next up we have the ER Small Lasers. These come in two flavours with being both Clan and IS. Starting off with the IS, we have half a tonne weight with one slot doing 20 damage uh, for 9 heat out to a range of 240 metres. Um, not only that, you get a 20% bonus, bonus chance to deal a critical hit. You get plus one accuracy and you also ignore three evasion pips. Um... What we basically have here is a medium laser, but pretty much better in every aspect. Um, all you're really sacrificing is a tiny little bit of range. Um, it's like 60 meters or so. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the well, Then we have the clan variant, um, which is uh, pretty much the same but different. Um, so you uh, do the same amount of damage, slightly more heat, um and only fires out to 200 meters um and doesn't get an accuracy bonus but it ignores four evasion pips and gets 50 percent chance to land a crit um so both of these are fairly solid um you're more likely to come across um the uh the is variant than you are the clan uh unless obviously you start off in the clan space first uh, both of these are solid uh, and will pretty much do you in any stead in any build in any stage of the game. Primarily, I would say, again, uh, they're good for uh, scout builds, skirmishes, and uh, sort of like melee builds, uh, melee builds to supplement your firepower in that respect. Uh, in all honesty, though, I would probably choose the ER small IS over the clan uh, purely because the I feel the uh, clan the IS variant is better. It has more range, and it also, more importantly, has the plus one accuracy. The three evasion pips is all well and good, but obviously that only removes evasion pips if the mech actually has evasion to remove. If um, 
if the the sort of like the mech is standing still and you have a NAF pilot that can't hit the broadside of a barn, accuracy is going to do you more favours than having the pip evasion. Um, yes, you do lose sort of thirty percent chance to land a crit, but honestly, if you can't hit what you're shooting at, the critical chance means nothing anyway. Uh, so I would rather hit things out to a longer range and more reliably hit than if I do manage to hit one a bit closer, I might have a fifty percent chance more of landing a crit. Um, so yeah, that's you know I, that's a po <laughs> probably going to be an unpopular opinion. Feel free to shout at me in the comments, but yeah, I, IS lasers for the most part are just straight up better than clan. Sorry. And moving on swiftly, we have the ER medium laser class. Again, these come in the two flavors. You have the IS variant and the clan variant. Uh, the IS one to start, we have a one ton of weight for 25 damage and 15 heat. Uh, we have a range of 480 meters with a 20% chance to land a crit and one accuracy. Uh, versus the uh, clan variant, uh, which is the same weight uh, and slot space, but only and does sort of a slightly more damage at 30, uh, but obviously does increase your heat to 17 and your range to 475 down from 480 and only a 20% chance to land a crit. Uh, and you don't have the um, inherent accuracy buff that the IS lasers again. So uh, honestly, again, in my opinion, with both systems being good, uh, the IS one is just straight up better. It's just as simple as that. It's uh, you're sacrificing sure a little bit extra damage, but again you're gaining the accuracy uh, and you're gaining the range, which again more chance. Like, I'd rather more consistently do 25 damage than I would trying to do 30 damage at slightly less range for more heat. Do you see what do you see what I'm saying? It's um yeah, it's not it's not really worth it. Um a, like the, again, the ER medium IS laser is just better. Straight up better. It's as simple as that. You get bonus bonus one accuracy and all you're sacrificing is like the five damage which honestly isn't really a massive amount. So, yeah, go for the IS one. And last but not least, we have the ER Lodges. Again, clan and IS variants. Starting off with the IS, we have five tons uh, and two slots, giving us 45 damage for 25 heat, out to a range of 840 meters. Um, whilst also giving us a 20% chance to deal a critical hit and obviously having our plus one accuracy bonus. Comparing that to the clan variant, we have slightly less weight at four tons. Uh, and one less slot at one ton and slightly more weight uh, sorry slightly more damage uh, 55 uh, damage for 30 heat out to a range of 700 meters but has no bonuses so uh, guess what is is better again um sure uh, the the clan variant weighs less um and does 10 points more damage but again you're losing the accuracy and you also, you don't have crit chance to back that up either this time round. Um, it's literally just straight up, just, yeah, all right, you do 10 more damage. Um, you give you, obviously, if space is a premium, and uh, then um, weight is a premium, then obviously the clan variant will fit very nicely. But honestly, for the most part, if you're mounting ER larges, you've got two slots spare, a two slot space to use. Um, it's, yeah, the I, again, the IS variant personally, just a straight up win for me. Uh, I'm not saying the uh, clan laser is bad. It's just the large, the the IS one is just better. It's, it's just as simple as that. Um, you know, it's more utility, more range, uh, less heat, more critical hit chance, more accuracy. I mean, the, the yeah, versus slightly less weight and slightly more damage. It's not. It's not even a competition really at this point. Overall conclusion on the. Um, <coughs> excuse me uh for the um ERs uh, as the, as with the standards the ERs are an awesome weapon system they're well balanced they do a good amount of damage for the weight and the size they take up um will work for you in pretty much any stage of your playthrough um they all have their places in so many different builds it's a good thing about the lasers you can literally put them in anything um from sort of scouts skirmish and melee builds for the sort of like the ER smalls and the micros 
Then you can use sort of like the ER mediums again for skirmisher builds, stroke sort of like supplementing firepower for your sort of close range heavy support. Um, and moving up obviously onto the ER larges where you know you can use it to supplement things like LRM boats and, and have long range snipers and stuff like that. Um, you know, you can have things like uh, if you're using gorse rifles and they're not generating any heat and you want to supplement them with more damage, you can use the large lasers because obviously your gauzes aren't drawing any heat so stuff like that is great um yeah uh, overall very solid weapon system usable in so many different builds um and yeah that's pretty much about it for those so here end of the first of the laser um first video about the lasers as i said before i'll break these up into more sort of manageable chunks and try and keep the the sort of um uh, to make it easier for you guys to watch and make it easier for me to record um so i'm not trying to you know i haven't got pages and pages of script to go through um as i've said multiple times the standard lasers are are by far the sort of um the sort of like most useful weapon systems in the game uh, shortly fo shortly followed thereafter by the er's uh, good damage with the weight heat ratio and not needing any ammo makes them essential early on and good um where space and sort of uh, space is sort of like a premium and you just want to maximize your damage output um and if you you know and if you can have the heat obviously to boat a few of them all the better uh i am a big fan of pinpoint damage and these weapon systems as a whole fit those perfectly my one of my preferred play styles is i tend to have uh sort of upfront um scout stroke melee bots um followed up with a sort of like mid to long range pinpoint damage support that's usually in the shape of ppcs gauze rifles and sort of er lasers uh, and such and then further on there'll be more long range support which will be sort of like in the things of like lrms and atms and stuff like that um so yeah very very good solid system um uh, uh, you know fairly easy to come by as well is the other thing that you know they're quite easy to get stock of um uh and again a, a very unpopular opinion probably but uh, like if is version i the is variants are just straight up better uh when they uh compared to the clan again this is my opinion your mileage may vary by all means sound off in the comments and shout at me and try and change my mind um but yeah i've been playing this game a long time and it hasn't changed yet so you know see if you can prove me wrong but there we are uh hope you did enjoy the video guys if you did obviously again don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe uh don't forget to come and see me on twitch uh, links are all down on the video description below. Uh, obviously, all the Discord links and everything else are there as well. And yeah, I hope you all stay safe, guys. Have a, have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.